Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have a special Super Nintendo World update. This is all credit from a user at Screamscape who's staying at the Universal Hilton this past uh, week, and he snapped these four great shots of Jurassic World and Super Nintendo World. And as you can see, some of the that facade we saw being built has been installed, and we'll get a much clearer picture of that in a little bit later. But here's a nice overview of the entire land. Lots and lots of steel going up. It's almost topped. I'd say it's topped out. It's still, I'm not sure if it's going to go any higher than what it is right now. But um, that will be Princess Peach's Castle and of course the Mario Kart Show Building which is all enclosed in white will become Bowser's Castle. The facade for that will become Bowser's Castle. And now Transformers has some new neighbors with it. Fully framed neighbors. Um, filling out the lower lot which is pretty awesome. As we move on over here to the next picture, it's a much closer look. And again, you can see that to the um, the right hand side, that first mountain, first set of the mountain range has been installed on the uh, inside facing the Transformers facing side. I thought, I was wondering where it was going to go. I was wondering if it was going to go on the back side or the Transformers facing side in Transformers. It is. And some kind of yellow drywall has been formed on the Mario Kart show putting in lots more like scaffolding or screening to install some more stuff. Princess Peach's Castle is going up. You can see the tower, the steel tower for what will be probably the castle spire heading on right by the Jurassic World um, first show scene over there. All the HVAC has been installed, or not all the, but a lot of the HVAC has been installed on the Mario Kart attraction. And that show opening looks to be just about done. Here's a much closer look at the facade work and see how a lot of it, they have the ro kind of the rolling heels, that steel framework, and even looks like even kind of goes on to the um, Mario Kart show, but I think, I don't know how much or all of it's going to be Bowser's Castle, or if not, but it looks like those rolling green hills will definitely continue along that steel side all the way up to the Mario Kart show opening right behind that concrete wall right there. And it looks fantastic. I can't wait for the park opens and so I can go in the lower lot and look at this real closely for myself. As it looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait for even more to um start being installed. Once again, when now that some has been installed, it should be going up relatively quickly, I think, at least on that that this side. Um so it'll be super 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 exciting. I'll be checking every week or two at City Walk, but every I'll be at City Walk every week, but every couple of weeks I'll try to check on that uh, Super Nintendo World facade. Lastly, just some progress he caught from Jurassic World here and a couple of boats here in storage. Main area showing they've been testing. Jurassic World should be ready to go, as well as the sequel of pets off leash when the park reopens, hopefully, 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 next month or so. But that is it for this short, quick construction update, specifically on Super Nintendo World. I'll be at uh, Universal City Walk tomorrow to see what's going on in the park there. I heard the park music, or the Universal turn the in-park music on, so we'll go check up on the gates as well tomorrow. So definitely subscribe for that. Um, what do you guys think of the progress of Super Nintendo World? And what do you guys think of the facade being installed? Obviously, you can't get a full judgment since only a couple pieces were installed, but I think it looks fantastic. So, I let me know how excited you are in the comments below, and subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.